Bad checksum, I can't believe it. Hey there everyone, this is Kyle Kyle Link VLDCX and uh, this Waddle Derp Super Danish Block. <laughs> Just a pretty funny name. Waddle Derp is definitely a name I recognize. Whoa! We got these sweet little nope and no and have fun blue bars to cross the world. Special life place! Well, I got all the lives I could ever need. But here's some more in case you need to fulfill your greed. But then I got it once. Now they're going to. Oh, no, they're still. Okay, they're still there. Uh, they were places. I mean, you got this little swamp place here that leads to Death Eat. <laughs> I'm curious. I have to poke at it. <laughs> Death eat! Yeah, it's a big ol' zap. It's a big ol' nothing. It's a big ol' void full of juice. Alright, enough fooling around. Here we go. Danish Superblock trademark. Here we go. We had a pretty good intro there. Alright, so we might just have blocks everywhere. Like this. Okay, so there was a muncher on the block above it. That could have been a hint. So, okay, so we got a hint there about what a block can do. See, there's just nothing. Okay, see this one too. I should have said it beforehand because now it feels like I'm like I'm, I'm pretending, but no. I figured, okay, that's probably gonna kill me because the guy above it is upside down. Alright, so pay attention to friends around. Got it. Here there's nothing around. So I'm assuming that everything behaves normally, yeah. So can I touch it even? Okay, so maybe they're just flat out munchers. Maybe. Okay, and there you need to look at the pattern that's nearby but not- Okay, I'm getting hurt a lot, I realize. It's because I'm taking a pretty slow methodological approach here to just kind of bopping on everything and hope for the best. Alright, so here the only one I would want to touch is the one here at the end, for example. God. Oh, and you need to do that to uncork the way. Okay, okay. So only the one that's the most on the left here may get some jealousy beacon. And there we go. Everything else squanders into time and space. I want to touch to the other one. Yeah, that was... Ah, dude, okay. And there I just kind of flung myself. I like the potted algaes. It's a really nice touch. Okay, I- okay, so I understand the level now, but I'm still in a weird- so like, I just played Sonic, right? I'm kind of in the let's go, let's just- let's just go forever kind of mood right now. I need to- I need to calm myself a little bit. Like, this is smart. So I was wondering, like, why did it matter to know which block you want to touch? Well, they gave us a reason. We need brown blocks to activate block-eating blocks. Like, that's- that's pretty neat. Okay, this one, well, just by going on this block up here, you can see, you don't need to go all the way up. Then you go there, and then that eats. Like, that's real clever. More baby blue skeleton shoes. Not a constant I would have imagined. So I don't know what I'm looking at here. Do I woof to reveal the truth? It's number three. Here we go. That's a way you can hide behind metallurgic skills. That's the one in the middle that I want to press. Here we go, here we go. Don't go too far, then go in a star. Midpoint style, it's number thar. It's another way of saying number three. I know, I know how to speak. Yeah, so watch out though, because like they're all gonna eat your face if they want to. And you know, it turns out your face looks real delicious. Alright, so when they're these combo, yeah, it doesn't matter. It never matters. It's when it's scattered blocks that we'd start to have to have a conversation about the best way to prepare a pie. Alright, so that's the one in the middle. Now I can I can tell the difference between the three objects. You do that and then you eat an apricot. Ooh, timer is getting kinda low. This is this is what this level does. Uh the one on the left, got it. Hey. Look at that. You offer me choice of three and it's like Spot a very obvious difference. Like sometimes it's just figure out where they are. Like see they're below. So first out of two is the one I want to hit. This guy here. And then I can do that and go like whoosh, like the midnight sun. Uh, these guys, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, huh. Do you think it's there? So you know that it's this one. Like you're supposed to kind of like forward in time. Use time magic. I cast haste on my face. 
I don't know why I hid that. I figured there's no there's no harm. I'm just gonna maybe get harm. There's no harm in that. I don't know what I'm doing. What a weird gimmick. <laughs> like what a this is a level that happened. I mean, it was it was interesting. It was very gimmicky. And yeah, this is a kind of level that can only exist. Oh, will do. It's the only level that can kind of- it's a level that can only exist in contests and stuff with this- Well, I guess you could have it like in a collab or something, I guess. It was interesting! You don't do a whole lot, but it was very interesting. Absolute Frenzy by Pat or The Pat 545. Absolute Frenzy, huh? Like, how do you interpret that? Uh, ain't none know nothing of nothing. Hey, we're here at the Yoshi house. There's Yoshi's and Yoshi's at the Yoshi house. Absolute frenzy. In a castle. It's the frenziest. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Whenever we have one of those starts, it's just like, check it out, it's Yoshi's Island. And then it's like, whoops, well, party down now, Dwayne. Alright, so I can go here. I don't need to bounce on the fire. Why would I do that? I don't know. There's a mole that's going on a walk. That's pretty swell, yo. Check it out. It's Rockin' Mario. It, it sounds like Mega Man X instrumentation. I don't know what I'm looking at. I guess I plop you down so I can use your planes. Alright, we can do that. Behind a carpet and look at the saw. We're gonna cut some lumber, and I'm going to fall. Uh, and I do the right thing here. Yes, cause now I can ride it here. But now there's large moles everywhere. And I got hurt. Cause large moles have large hitboxes. I never feel comfortable around them. I can't explain it. Here we go again! Oh boy. So now they're gonna be too parallel. I cannot jump on top of moles. In my 12 years of playing ROM hacks for the internet, I still think that jumping on on big mole, on jumbo mole tubular, I still think it's the most uncomfortable, imprecise thing in the universe to this day. This is the statue, I don't even know why I did that. I don't want to tickle that statue. No, why would I want to throw fire? There's no reason why I want to. I'm trouble with what's solid and what isn't here. Uh, do I want to knock you down? Like, why would I want to do that? Uh, to jump on you while I wait for the thing. Wow, I am not good at evaluating my future here. I'm doing a bad job. But yeah, I know that blue is solid here because it's obvious. But like, if I have like two seconds to kind of evaluate what's going on around me and there's like, this is the same shape. Yeah, it's darker and it's a different color, but it's the same color as these hard objects. And the blue are the same color as these pass-through objects. So yeah, I'm going to get confused in moments where I have to make quick decisions. Because colors are used for both indications, and they're just reversed when they become small wooden squares. That's just gonna happen, man. Alright, I popped the board. No, I, I popped the lord. Everyone should do that one day or another. Eh, uh, well, yeah, I missed it up there. I did a bad job. No, this part is totally Mega Man. Why do I think it was Mario at some point? Maybe I'm thinking of something else, I don't know. So you do that, but yeah, you do that so that you have a place to stand on while bread is having fun, and the bread factory fun. There we go. Point just there, kind of for fun. Math time, color math time, color cube time. Do some jumps randomly, jump on this mold and reach up for read. You just got a single coin, that's fine. Well that, not dolphin shy. Hiding between, behind the drapes. There's another dolphin involved. That one is going to get your head lacerated. So you don't want that to happen. You can't help it if you can't help it. I don't know what the background represents. Like, those are not, are they, are they clouds that are like vertically oriented like that? Oh boy. 
this is like a very serious second half going on here. Eh. Alright, so uh, I can't scroll up, so... Okay, I'm safe. Eh. Got it. Then eh to the spring thing. And then we make it up here, I guess. I don't know what is going on. I guess that doesn't matter. Try to Rex if you want. Look at where you want to go. You don't want to get pushed up midpoint. Here we go. Alright. Intense level. Keeps the intensity. Oh, this was like an outer path? I guess I could have jumped here. Alright, fair enough. What am I looking at? This and then you want to want to keep running, but you're lower, so you go through, you land in the lava, and you melt. It's a really painful way to go. Red door, just for you. Hi, Rex. Right here, right where we're hanging out. It's all good. Check it out. Fire, fire, and I can go here if I want. So you do want to jump when you go from one red crumb to another. Check it out, it's a large mole, it's pretty big, it's gonna make a hole. I don't know where I'm at or where I go. Video game. Here I jump onto this mole, I mess up and then I boil up whole. That's not something to celebrate. Really? Okay, and uh, yeah, the, the, uh, okay. The trick with the Dagadon there is that you need to outpace it. Got it. You can't slide kill a Rexo. I mean, you'll land on it. You need to launch its head, but it's not a real slide kill. So it's a little dangerous. Uh, there's gonna be a key here. That's right. A key to this puzzle is to get the key. I figured that one out on my own. Let's go middle of the door and about a place I don't understand. Do I still need that math, or are we done with that? I can't tell. I hope we're done because, yeah, there's kind of like a ways to go here, but like, I don't mean no nothing. Alright, so I'm looking at the universe around me. Being confused about all the flowers that I see. But no nutmeg for me. The bowl takes a lot of room. Well, so does my doom. I don't know what that means. I can get a flower. Oh, you can get a medium room? Uh, I'm not going for trouble to do that, but it's there! Alright, so there's a fine mask here. Then you do this a little bit. And then you lose track of where the math is, so you just kind of end up blind. And you miss it, you're not fine! Uh, uh, nope. I, yep, yeah, that's gonna keep happening. I gave myself no momentum. Just power up in the back. That high note in the back, really uncomfortable for your ear hole. Right, so the second half of the second half. In other words. This is part four. There's a door down there. Um, I don't think this level has a secret exit. If it has one, it's probably in that door below down there. Or it's a room for one dying on. It's all possible. Or you can just ride a fire to get there. Yeah, you could. I don't feel like it though. I would rather concentrate on finishing. That rack sure is there. It is existing. Wow. Alright, last time I died. Yeah, that's right. I started on this ride and I lost track of where you were. Felt really great. Uh, oh jeez. This is like. Whoa. Some dangerous math, man. 
All right, meme tips for defeat the boss, the moving brown platform will disappear. Also, wow, you killed the aesthetic fog, nerd. Well, yes, I did. I'll do it again. All right, so brown platform is a sprite. Got it. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I'm not sure why this boss fight is necessary. We'll do it really slow really safe. That's what I consider really safe. Oh, dang it. Where'd my block go? Well, we can at least hurt him. Yeah, now we can hit your ride again. Yeah, that's really safe. All I did there, it's the only, the safest way you can do any of this. <laughs> well, hey. I meant safe and that my ultimate demise, you know, I was sure that I wouldn't fall off the platform. So okay, take hurt. Health is a resource, man! Sacrifice that mosquito you summoned. It's okay. Alright, so yeah, just, this level was pretty nice. It was a very action-oriented level. I thought it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, honestly. It's a bit on the hard part. Like, I died on a blind jump, but like, did I cause a blind jump one to go for the Dagnon? Is that an excuse? I don't know. You be the judge. I'm my own judge. This might be a shorter video, post-edit, but this is what I'm doing.